Hi, CDS families. Um, I heard that some of you are thinking about whether it's safe to save passwords um, in Google or in Chrome as you're logging into things every day, things that you use every day. Um, I wanted to give you my perspective on that because you know, back before the launch of CDS at Home, I was teaching a workshop to sixth grade on internet safety and this same conversation came up. Um, we were learning about cookies and malware and with those questions, it's always a balance between convenience and how useful something is to you and then privacy and protecting your own information. It's always a balance. Um, it's always thinking about the pros and cons of each choice and then trying to make the best choice for you. And it might be different for each person or each family. Um, so let me share my screen and then I'm gonna show you a few resources that might help you make that choice. Um, so here we go. Um, and just so I can show you, um, in that workshop that I did on cookies, it was actually a really similar question. So even if you as an adult don't quite know what cookies are or whether they're good or bad, um, this is a really great opportunity for you to start to have that conversation with your kids or with your um, other people in your household about, about those questions and learn yourself a little bit. Um, this is a cool website that I, I used in that workshop. Um, it's made for anyone. It's just cookiesnu.com. Um, and this is the video. It's, okay, we'll just so click that. Um, it's, it's only about a minute, 25 seconds long, but it's an amazing explanation of what cookies are, how they work, and in what ways they're good or bad or useful. Um, how they do store things on your computer, but they make it more convenient for you. And there's a the possibility of tracking. Um, but just trying to weigh the benefits of that. So I recommend going there and watching just as one of the resources that I wanna share with you. Um, another resource that I wanna share before I really get to your question about passwords um, is the Common Sense Media resources that we have. We teach this curriculum K to eight and they have really great family engagement resources. So if you just go to their website and I'll ask, um, more Andrea to link this in whatever message she sends. Um, if you just go here um, and then you can find the information here, I have it slash education toolkit family resources. You can probably just search for family resources as well. Um, they have things on every topic. So social media, cyberbullying, well being, and media balance, online privacy and safety is one that's taught in every grade from K to eight at an age appropriate level. Um, so I really think these are great. If you wanna go on here, there are family tips. So here's one example of the family tips that are shared from K to five. Um, things you can do at home just as a norm in your household. Um, talking about privacy settings and discussing personal and private info. Um, Avoiding location tracking because you do have that option. Check out your settings on all of your devices if you have never have. Um, just having those conversations as a regular thing is really great. So I'm gonna share those resources in whatever message you get, um, but I really recommend them. Okay, now to the question about passwords. Um, again, it's a balance between convenience and then you know privacy. And so I personally, I don't save every password that I use on Google Chrome because I don't like that. Um, but if it's something you're using every day and it's something that is tough for uh, a child to, to go through on their own, then I think, I mean, personally, I think it's probably okay. Um, I think that with that balance, you have to make that choice. But to me, I think it's safe to save one password, say for Lexia. Um, you have a choice. I wouldn't save everyone, but if you want to save the Lexia password to Google Chrome, um, I think that that's safe. That doesn't allow Google to access your other passwords. Um, it doesn't, you know, it limits the information they have. Um, and I mean, Google is the owner of the school's email accounts. And so like that sort of information they have access to anyway. Um, so, I mean, to me, it's okay. But I wanna show you some things that might help you feel better about that. Um, so you can actually check on which passwords are saved at any given time. So I recommend that you do that. Check your settings all the time. 
So how you do that is once you're signed into your account, so your school email account, um, so there's what my email looks like, here's another page, anywhere in Google, you'll have in this right corner the, your picture uh, or your child's picture. You're gonna click on that and then go to manage your Google account. And there are a ton of settings to check out <laughs> and make sure that they're what you want. So I recommend that you do that. But regarding just passwords, um, you can go to security and um, yeah, it lets me know what's happened recently, um, the devices I've used. Let's see. So password manager. That's probably the quickest way to get to your password manager. That's what I wanted. So um, I'll get to this password checkup in a minute, but here uh, it shows you which sites or apps have your password saved. So perhaps there are gonna be some here that you didn't know that you've saved, which is good because then you can click on them um, and then, oh, it's making me sign in again, just to make sure that it's me. Okay, so there you can decide if you wanna edit or delete that. So if I don't want that account to have my password again, I can delete it. So it no longer has access to my password. Now there are only three that have access to my password. So you can feel better if you only have, you know, one or two or a few sites that you do save your password for because that limits the access they have. Um, if it's more convenient for you than it is a concern, then do it. Um, I mean, it's, it's there to make your life easier, really. So you can make sure that you only have a few here and then delete the ones that you don't want to have your password saved for. If it's just, you know, Lexia and my math, the McGraw-Hill, I think that's a totally fine choice. You can also do a password checkup while you're on this page. Um, check passwords. I think it's gonna have me sign in again. Oh, I just signed in, so it's not gonna have me sign in again, but it wanted to make sure that it was me. Um, and it'll let you know if there's anything concerning about your current passwords that you use in Google, just in case you know there's something you could improve upon. Um, so it says I've had no compromised passwords, which is good. Um, based on their information, none of your saved passwords are compromised. You can feel better about that. Um, no accounts using a weak password. So it sounds like my passwords are pretty good passwords. You can always improve that if this says you're not using a strong password. Um, but here, yeah, it gives me some, some um, area to improve. And this is my actual account. So I could improve a little bit here. It's that I have two reused passwords. And the best idea, the best safe thing is to create unique passwords for each site. So um, I do recommend that you do that. Um, I think this is a choice I sort of made because you know you also want to remember it. Um, so I, I, yeah, I have two reused passwords. So um, that is something that you can do to check out to see, you know, to make yourself feel better and reassure yourself that it is safe to have your password saved on Google Chrome. Um, I'm going to go back here, and that's all I can share with you right now. I think, um, but yeah, in as a summary, I think that it's always a compromise, always a balance between that convenience and then your privacy and security concerns. Um, at the older ages, especially, we're trying to get students to think in that way too, so that every time they make a choice online, they're thinking about their digital footprint and you know what, what that choice implies. We're trying to encourage them to check their Chromebook settings. Um, if you have a middle schooler, encourage them to do that. Um, to see if cookies are enabled or not, and if they want that, and have that conversation. And so, um, yeah, look at this as an opportunity if you can. But to answer the short question, I think it is safe to have a couple passwords saved on Google Chrome, especially if it's just a couple sites. And that, what I just showed you, is a way to check on that and make sure that it, the settings are what you want and that it's just a couple sites there. So I hope this was helpful, and good luck. I know it's been tough for everybody, so I hope you're all doing okay, and yeah, have a great week. Bye.